Father, I just break the power of every spirit of witchcraft that has tried to come into this house today by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind those wicked spirits by the blood of Jesus. And I thank you that not one of them will leave this place before he gets touched or she gets touched. We bind them. Father, do your strange work in each and every one of us who's carrying the wrong spirit. Bring salvation into the house tonight, Father. Pour your spirit out upon your people. You said you didn't come for the righteous, but for the sick. And I thank you, Lord, that you touch them even now, Father. I bind the spirit of witchcraft. I say it has no place here. Praise God. Release your captives now by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good start to a meeting, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Good to see you guys here. <laughs> Mate. Yandi Sarita told me. <laughs> so it's not a word of knowledge. Okay? <laughs> so welcome. Praise God. Praise God, old faces we haven't seen for a while. Thank you, Lord. I'm just waiting. You don't mind waiting, dear? We wait for the Holy Ghost. I, um, I've just been reading, and I may as well start reading what he's put in my heart. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. How's, how good is that? that he may abide with you forever. Did you hear that? That he may send another comforter who will live with you forever. Your born again experience that starts here on earth keeps you walking all the way to heaven with a comforter who's leading you. And he stays with you. Listen to me. He stays with you. He's part of you. You're part of him. He stays with you. The comforter that comes, comes to stay with you. Don't grieve him. Do not grieve him. Don't grieve him. You know, we have, a, we have a, this is our school of the Holy Spirit. And this is a good place for people to come and get washed and set free and clean and to walk rightly with God. And we're all in, in training, do you know that? Well, well, I got no excuse. <laughs> I have no excuse before God. Okay, David. <laughs> no excuse, thank you. None. We've, we've got a choice that we have to make every day. I gave my heart to the Lord, which meant that he paid the price for me. So I don't belong to me anymore. I've got testimonies that probably some of you have never heard. But I want to tell you, there's people in this place that need to hear some of them. So if you're a goody two-shoes and you want to hear good stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> when I was younger, I used to get involved with reading tarot cards. Okay? So I came from the wrong side. There's people in here who are still doing it. I came from the wrong side. I was the resident lounge lizard at the Saracen's Head. A meat marketplace. <laughs> well, you want to know the truth. You don't want to know. I've lived stuff out. So when I found the kingdom, I found God. It changed me. I gave my life to him and I meant it. 
But there are people in here that still drag the old days with them and the old things with them and they're tainting you. And they're stopping you reaching the, the potential that God's released to you. In fact, I can tell you now, people who keep doing that stuff will not go to heaven. That's a sad fact. So while we're here and we have an opportunity, grab it. Grab it both hands. Every day I make a choice of whom I serve. Every day I make a choice of whom I serve. I want to bring glory to the Father. This place has been built on faith. Everything about this place is faith. You've come into a place of faith, a place where there's peace, a place where you can touch God, a place where you can learn to spend time with him in his presence. But if you choose the wrong thing and keep going down that other track, I've got to tell you, there comes a time when you don't know if the Holy Spirit's going to stay with you or leave you. You don't know that day. So I wouldn't play Russian roulette if I was you. And he's put it on my heart as I'm at the back there, thinking, Lord, I don't want to preach this message. <laughs> but he said, you tell them where you came from. I came from somewhere where I could see in the spirit. I came from somewhere where I could actually have spiritual vision before I ever came into the kingdom because I opened up the wrong side of the spirit realm. I opened up the wrong side and I thank God he saved me because the day that I gave my heart to the Lord I was totally changed instantly. Now it's up to me to keep walking with him. But if you haven't made the choice and you keep going down the wrong track. Sorry. Power of God must be around here somewhere. <laughs> if you haven't made the choice, I'm going to give you an opportunity tonight to get things right. And I've got to tell you, that you're in a place where we see. All right? You're in a place where people come to get set free. And some people struggle with things. Some people struggle with addictions. All sorts of addictions. You can leave them here tonight. You can keep walking with God free as a bird. Free as a bird. That song that I asked you to look up for me earlier. Yeah. You just played that for us, will you? Thank you, Lord. I haven't been able to get this out of my system all day long. Praise God. I just want to play it. Just contemplate this song a second, will you? How do you... Well, you can all go home now. That's your message. <laughs> okay. Praise God. You've got to allow the Lord to do his work in you. You don't belong to yourselves any longer. You belong to him. You've got a brand new nature, but your opinions get in the way of that new nature. Your opinions, you think everything's okay. Well, I want to tell you it's not. The church has got to come back into power. The church has got to come back into discernment. You know, people walk into the church. Do you know what witches do? I could, I could fill you in on quite a lot. In fact, I will. <laughs> you know, they come into churches and they see these gullible Christians who love to hold hands. And all they're doing is transferring spirits. And the church has kissed its brain goodbye by thinking this is sweet. I, I want to tell you something. When you're fearful of not pleasing other people, then you can get sick and not know why you're getting hit. 
The church today needs to move in words of knowledge, in the gifts of the Spirit, knowing God, knowing God is eternal life. I've just read you a scripture out of John 14. And what's it say in that scripture? It says that you've been given the Holy Spirit. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I'll pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. You have someone of the Godhead wants to come and live inside of you. The greatest privilege in the world, and we fail constantly to do the simplest things. He says, just obey my commands. We like to twist them so they suit us. <laughs> we want to twist the word so it suits our walk. Well, I want to tell you, it doesn't suit his walk. It doesn't suit his walk. You better be sure you're hearing God, and you're not going to do that if you're not talking to God. You've got to be sure that you're hearing him. You've got to be dead set sure, none of this wishy-washy, well, I think he talked to me. I've got to tell you, if ever I say that to Denise, he sends me somewhere. He's going to send me overseas somewhere, and I tell her, I've got to book a ticket. And she says, why? I said, the Lord's just spoken to me. She said, go ahead. If I ever said to her, I've got to book a ticket, and she said, why? She said, I think the Lord's just spoken to me. She says, think again, brother. <laughs> think again. Because it's not a, it's not a I think. It's a, I'm sure. It's a knowing God. It's a walking with him. Mate, my mother would yell at me when I was three years old in the supermarket because I was knocking stuff off the shelves. And I could be on the side of the supermarket and I'd hear that voice. I'd go, oh, oh. <laughs> I've just been caught. I could hear that voice in the middle of a storm. <laughs> now I've got to tell you, it's necessary sometimes. You've got the Holy Spirit living in you forever. But your habits will stop you. Your habits will stop you hearing. So therefore you're walking a blind walk and thinking you're doing okay. Going from church to church. Trying to find peace think again think again will you church starts in here Amen. starts in here it's your relationship with him it's forever you've got the privilege of being a forever person Amen you stop and think about that. You have the privilege of being a forever person. Praise God. I've, I've got testimonies of how he's trained me. And every time he's spoken to me, I've done it. He says here, I will pray to the Father if you love me, he says, keep my commandments. This is John 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Keeping God's commandments is love. You're showing him you love him. I, I, I get all these people going, love, love, I love you, I love you, and I do love you, and I love you. I'm sorry. It makes me go, ugh. <laughs> Because it's false. <laughs> if you love God, do what he's asking you to do. I'm speaking to you all tonight. If you love God, and I'm speaking to myself, if you love me, he says, if you love me, Raf, just do my commandments. Do what I've told you to do. You know, some people wonder why some people get blessed and others seem like they're always losing out. It's because they're not doing what they've been commanded by the Lord. When God starts speaking to you, his voice is strong. His voice is loud on the inside. His voice is very easy to get to. Obey his commandment. You've just opened up a hearing well. How many people want to hear God clearly tonight? 
anybody doesn't because then we can stand up and I'll bind that spirit of witchcraft again <laughs> it's true if you want to hear God put your hands up you're under arrest every one of you in this place who's just put your hand up and believed that he wants to speak to you are about to hear God just ask him this close your eyes you're with him not me just ask him this Jesus do you love me <laughs> yeah instant instant speak back it's a two way conversation prayer do you love me he says, of course I do. I've died for you, haven't I? I've died that my Holy Spirit will come to live inside you for eternity and lead you and guide you from this day on. As many as are led of the Spirit of God are true sons and daughters of God. Romans 8, 14. As many as are led are true sons and daughters of God. Are you having trouble hearing God? Are you having trouble hearing God? Well, I've got to tell you what I was sharing before. God blesses you. You choose every day who you're going to serve. Every day. In the morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit. What are we doing today? Have you ever talked to him like that? What are we doing today? He talks to me like that. He does. I get home late. I'm tired. I don't want to spend time with him because I get weary. I do. I, mate, the zeal I had when I was younger, I would, I would have gone through a building like Rambo. <laughs> but not today. At 75 years old, I still have trouble getting out of bed. <laughs> but I can't keep away from him. I can't keep away from him. And that drives me. At this age, it still drives me. He's waiting for me to speak with him in our quiet time together. He's waiting for me. Do you know what that does to you? That God himself is waiting to talk to you. You want to learn how to walk in the giftings? And you need all those gifts. If you're going to survive, you're going to need to have to walk in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because if you're not being led, you're being led of your own wants, your own desires, your own addictions. Something else is in the driver's seat. There's another spirit in the driver's seat if it's not the Holy Spirit. So don't fool yourselves. If I, some people say to me, oh, I'm compulsive. Yeah, you're compulsively going down the wrong track. Don't be compulsive. Stop and ask. You have a God who wants to lead you. He's been given to you. Stop and ask him. If you've got decisions you make, you just make out of your wants, your desires. What you think is right, your opinions. Do you know God's got an opinion about everything? <laughs> and it's the truth? And he asks, he says, just ask of me. Ask of me. Anybody went, want the phone number? Jeremiah 33.3. He says, ask of me and I'll show you great and mighty things you know not of. Doesn't that tell you something? You know not of what you're asking about. Ask of me and I'll show you great and mighty things you know not of. He's waiting for you to ask because he's already got your life mapped out. Before you were born, while you were being knitted in your mother's womb, he had your plan. And he spoke it out to the Holy Spirit. And you came onto this earth, accepted his son Jesus, 
and your spirit came alive. And now that it's alive, it can hear God. Now the bridge has been formed between heaven and earth, between your old self and the new you that he's pouring out. That's the bridge. The Spirit of God has formed that bridge where you can talk to the Father. You now have eternal life. Knowing God is eternal life. John 17 verse 3. Knowing God. You've got the Spirit of God for eternity. So he can make sure you don't make mistakes. Your opinions count for nothing. People come to me with all sorts of things. They're in trouble, there's sin, there's all sorts of things. And they try to tell me a spiel. And I'm looking at them, but my ear has already dropped into this place where my spirit dwells. And I'm hearing what he's saying about the situation. And God wants you to become a person who can discern. Not go half-cocked thinking you're going to help someone. And you're not even right yourself. <laughs> Anybody been there? You need to be equipped. And the equipping can be long term or you can do the short term. And all you've got to do is spend time with him. That's all you have to do. Spend time with the Lord. Praise God. You know, our, our weeks are filled with people coming onto this block and getting healed, set free and delivered. That's what this place is about. But when they're rebellious, I want to kick them out. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> but the Lord stops me. The Lord stops me. Because he loves you all. I haven't gotten to that place yet and I'm trying, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am but he loves you all and he, he says that to me he says just love them just lo love your enemies you know how hard that is love your enemies it's not hard when you think of what he's done he's just died on the cross for all his enemies how great the father's love that he would send his only son to die for me. My God, that blows my mind sometimes. I could just sit and think on that forever. He sent his son to save a wretch like me. I'm going to give you some opportunity tonight to get your lives right with God. That's what he put on my heart. Instead of me getting the axe out, and I'm good at that, I'll... In fact, my poor old dad, he had a shed when we were growing up and he had a beautiful wooden door that he put on there. And I used to use it for knife and axe practice. <laughs> and really, it was lucky it didn't end up a pile of splinters on her. Yeah, yeah, there's my brother, he, he'll tell you. I can throw a knife. <laughs> yeah, true, accurately, I used to make money on it. <laughs> Praise God. And I reckon an axe is no different. <laughs> yeah, screwdriver or a chisel. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you a funny story. It's not that funny to you, maybe it is to me. <laughs> I was sitting at a joint and we were having smoko one day, and we had uh, the corners of the walls had quarter round on them, quarter round timber, and the place was riddled with mice. And a smoke the mice had run all over the place. So I grabbed my chisel one day and went woof. And the head stayed on top, but the body dropped off. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> my father shed lays testimony that it was no fluke. <laughs> Praise God. How would we get there? We'll get back, Ham. He's getting me back. He's getting me back. He wants you. He wants you to make right decisions every morning. 
He wakens me morning by morning, renews my mind day by day. New things he gives to me freely. He teaches my mouth what to say. The morning star has arisen. In my heart a melody rings. Oh, what a joy to be living. Praise God, I know he now reigns. Oh, what a joy to be living. Praise God, I know he now reigns. Every day is a learning day. Every morning's a new opportunity. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now, if I've got a word for you, that's your problem. <laughs> I've got a word for you. Take your hat off a second. Praise God. I'm going to break a curse off of you that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, when you were a little kid, you were called Silly Billy. Well, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit speaking to me right now. That's been a curse on your life. And some of the things that you do that you don't think about, the Spirit of God says it's because that word has been spoken over your life. So right now, I cut off the curse of you being called Silly Billy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. That solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, yes, it does. My poor old brother Lou didn't know that I used to do the tarot, is he? <laughs> Praise God. The gifts of the Holy Ghost. They're to set people free. Just stand up a second, Mel. Today you get an opportunity to hand it all over to the Lord. You've given your heart to the Lord with your mouth. You've struggled with giving it over fully. And there are things that even tonight I've spoken about. And God says, I want you to see them right now in a bundle, lit up in the flames, and hand it over to God. Okay? You've gone into deep witchcraft and thought it was white witchcraft, and the Spirit of God is telling me, all witchcraft is witchcraft. All right? Wrong end of the Spirit. Do you want to do that? Come out here. Do you want to? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Anybody want to pray for this precious sister? I tell you, God's got a call on this girl's life. Can you come out here, Jenny? Come and pray for her. Thank you, Lord. God's got a call on her life. You've come to the right place. You know that? You have come to the right place. Thank you, Lord. Pauline, you want to come out and pray for her as well? And Mr. Bricknell, or Evie, I don't care, one of you. Maybe both of you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Now, there's people here who've dabbled in this stuff, and you've got an opportunity to come out and deal with it tonight. This precious girl has just been picked out by the Spirit of God to set her free. He's been doing that in you all night, hasn't he? Since, since, <laughs> since the worship. Here's the hand of God coming on you right now, okay? You look to the Lord. Do you say this with me, Lord Jesus, fully take over my life. I repent of having touched the wrong side. Amen. Father, I just thank you even now. Fill her up, Lord. In Jesus' name, just fill her, Father. Fill her by the power of your Holy Spirit and bring the blood, Lord. Bring the blood and bring cleansing. The cleansing power of God right now in Jesus' name. I command every spirit of witchcraft to leave right now. Thank you, Father. Every addiction she's had, in Jesus' name. Every addiction that she's been carrying, in the name of Jesus, I command it to leave right now. Every affliction of the Spirit of God, of the enemy against the Spirit of God, I command to leave. Holy Spirit, please come with power. Come with power, Lord. There it is. There's the fire of God coming on. There's a fire guide coming on you right now. Thank you, Lord. You're waking up different tomorrow morning. Oh, young lady, you are going to wake up. With... Thank you, Lord. 
Do you know, you've been wanting to know stuff. Tarot cards. Did you do tarot cards? Uh, I picked them one stage. Okay. Yeah. Just repent to the Lord of doing that. You're going to get his knowledge. His knowledge. It's totally different to the enemy. The enemy gives you knowledge to destroy. God gives you knowledge to release. We're invoking the law of the spirit of life today. Oh, there it is. There it is. There, there he is right now. Now, remember, you get him for life. That's why you've got to stay with him. You get him for life. When he comes, he comes with life. I don't know who, what friends you've got, but they're not good influences. Okay? Thank you, Lord. They're not good influences. In Jesus' name. Oh, you're free, girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. Fire. Let the fire come. Here you go. There's the power of God coming on you. Receive. Receive it. Don't worry. There's someone behind you. Not much of a catch, but... That's right. Thank you. <laughs> catch her. Catch her. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> In Jesus' name, it's done. It's already done. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You're precious in his hand. Anybody else want to deal with that sin in their lives? Anybody touch tarot cards in their life? Have you ever dealt with it before the Lord? Hey? Come on. Come up. Okay. No ways. Okay. Who else? Who else has dealt with the witchcraft in their life? They, they, today we're dealing with it. Amen? Amen. Amen. You as well? Yeah, as well. Okay. Someone stand behind her. Stand, yeah, you stand behind her. Stay there. Here she goes. Here. Stand behind her right now. Thank you, Lord. Yep, good catch. Drop her on the floor. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, set her totally free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. You too. I repent of touching the esoteric side of the spirit. All witchcraft, tarot cards, palm reading, what, the stars, the horoscopes. They are horoscopes. They're not good scopes. Horoscopes. We break those right now. We break the power of them by the blood of Jesus. Oh, there you go. There's the cleansing blood of Jesus right now. <laughs> From the bottom of your feet to the top of your heads. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. See, people carry this and think it's okay. They think they're fine, that they, it hasn't affected them. But it affects people. It's an open door in the spirit. And if you've still got that door open, you've got to close it. That's what every day with Jesus is like. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Some are born into it. This lady here was born into it. You. Amen. You're being set free there, girl. Oh, praise God. You, Yes. Praise God. Being set free. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. There you go. Totally set free. Totally, totally set free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. This lady here. Touch tarot cards in your life? No? Hey? They're horror things, aren't they? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. You really? You ready? Well, that's breaking off you today. That's breaking off you today, okay? You look to the Lord. You confess it to Him. Anything you've touched that's got to do with wanting to know your future, with palm reading, with tarot cards, Ouija boards. No? no what have you touched? Um, I've done ho read horoscopes. <clears throat> yeah. There's that child vision. Yeah, That's the two things? Yeah. Okay, hand them up. You're under arrest. You ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Okay. Here's what that opens the door to, right? Okay? That's where we get wrong thinking. 
That's where you get wrong thinking. Praise God. Things you think are true are not, and the ones that God speaks to you are. <laughs> the things you think are true from your own imaginings are not. Okay? So you're looking through the eyes of an imagination, not through the eyes of the truth. The eyes of the truth are through the Word of God, and you start to adhere to that. Okay? He gives you, the enemy gives you wrong thinking. You see through a, a glass looking not clearly. And so you end up with all these insidious thoughts. You repent of that. That's a girl. Yes, that's a girl. That's a girl. Yes, that's a girl. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. That's a girl. That's a great prayer. There you go. There's the fire of God coming on you right now. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Hey? Uh, there's about 15 people there, so it's okay. Uh, 20 people. Ready? Ready to catch you guys? No, she's not going down. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, don't come sideways. <laughs> That's a lot. Go sit on a seat. Take her to a seat, will you? Come on, Chess. You're right. All right. Are you comfy there? You're on the seat as well? Thank you, Father. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, good boy. Cut it off now. Cut it off now in Jesus' name. There it is. Just by your commitment. Oh, there's a fire. Take that. Holy dooly. Take that. It's already there. There's the fire of God on you right now. <laughs> it's lifting off, mate. There you go. It's just gone. You're going to be free as a bird. I tell you what that's going to do for you. The gifts of the Spirit are going to flow a lot more readily through you, brother. Okay. Come, sis. Come on. Yeah, bless you. He's got a good catch, hasn't he? Praise God. Yeah, he, he does. You've got a good one, too. <laughs> He's a ripper. Come on out, buddy. This is... Oh, my Oh, Vinny. Praise... Tarot cards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I used to do them as well. <laughs> so ready? Praise God. Just, just say this, Lord Jesus, I repent of dabbling on the wrong side. Set me free, Lord. Here he is now. There's the fire of God now in Jesus' name. Father, I command witchcraft to leave now. Get out and release her by the blood of Jesus. Release her fully, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Deb, little Deb. Yep. A whole lot. Okay. Okay, you ready? Repent. You don't do it anymore. Just repent, though. Doesn't matter. If you've touched it in your life, it's got to go. It's become an open door. Some people are just going to get healed by it tonight. You know. Here's the fire of God coming on you right now. He's seen you repent. You say, I repent. I repent. I've opened those things up. Those things up. Okay. Now, I'm going to break the power of that spirit of epilepsy right now that's come through those things. Get off now in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, you have no place any longer. Get off, get off of her right now in the name of Jesus. So you know the Lord says you've been filling yourself up with the word of God filling and filling and filling and because you've been doing that the word is setting you free oh there it is that's a girl oh that's a girl good girl thank you Father there's a fire of God now release her release her now in Jesus name release her now in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Just release her, release her right now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Sorry, I've just. It was a spirit of delusion. Spirit of God says it was a spirit of delusion. And you've got to understand that. Delusion is leaving you. Those doors that you opened as a young kid, God says it's opened something in your life and it's affected you. But delusion is leaving you from this day on. You will know and see with a clear eye. Okay? Oh, thank you, Lord. Me? Uh, me? <laughs> yeah, my, I just remember my cousin introduced us to Ouija boards. Yeah, so, mate. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Father, I just thank you. You just speak it to the Lord. You know how to speak it out. Thank you, Lord. Ouija board, anything else. Mm. Looking at a candle in the mirrors, whatever that was. Yeah. That was one of the wow. I don't know. There you go. But it lasted about a week. <laughs> one week. But anyway, the interest in the supernatural, I, I went the wrong way and I'm repenting of it in the name of Good Jesus. boy. It's cut off and broken. Yeah. And you're covered by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there you go. There's an open heaven coming to you. You've been asking for certain things, says the Spirit of God, to hear more with the clarity to see, to have visions, and the Spirit of God says you're opening it. I'm dealing with all the small things in your life that you've been looking at. And he says they're cut off right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's done. Come on, Ray. Hooray. <laughs> this is your day. Hooray. Agree? Yep. Yeah. I think that's all. All right, you speak it out. Anything of the occult that you've touched? My good man. Thank you, thank you, Lord. There you go. You're being released right now. He's cleaning it up. He's cleaning it up. You're free. You're free of sin. God says you can proclaim people to be free of sin. Do you know that? You're free. You're a beauty. Dave, you're through. Any, oh, sorry, Wilma, you're through. All this. Sorry, buddy. Oh. It's before I got saved. Yeah. I just, uh, oh, mate's brother was saying spirit realms were real and you can ask. He was asking some spirit questions and mm -hmm. I was ask, yeah, asking it as well with pencils. And, yep. Um, yeah, I don't want it. Re I don't just want say, I repent of that, Lord. Yeah, I repent of that, Lord. Set me free. Yeah. Set me free. Father, all witchcraft, I command to leave right now in Jesus' name. Any effect it's had on Dave's life right now. Oh, there's the fire of God coming off you right now. Can you feel that? The fire of God's doing the job. Praise God. There you go. <laughs> You're leaving here a bit lighter than you came in, buddy. <laughs> Praise God. All oh, right. They're shockers, aren't they? You ready? Well, here's the fire got on you right now. Oh, thank you, Lord. Watch her back as she goes down this one. She's got healing her right now. Thank you, Lord. There you go. You got it. It's all yours. It's all yours. He's heard. He's heard you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's heard you. <laughs> He's heard you. And Father, we pray for her back to be fully healed. Yeah, stick your hand on the back. Down lower. Yeah, down lower. Yeah. <laughs> you got, okay, you ready? Yeah, there it is right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you. How's the back? There's burning coming down that back. Right there. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, is that it? Right spot? Here's the fire. Fusion. All that fusion in your back. You're being released. Father God, I thank you. Cushion the joints. Oh, there it goes. Amen. Praise God. You're kept by the Lord. You are kept by the Lord. Who? You ready? Same thing? Okay. Well, you repent before God. That's what you're doing today. We're learning how to choose Christ every day, okay? 
And you stay free and you become free. In Jesus' name. You speak it out of your mouth. Say, I repent of all my dabbling in the occult. I ask you to set me free of every effect that it's had on my life. There you go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Remember, you've got the comforter with you for life. Honour him. Honour him. He lives in you. He lives in you. It's done. Okay? Praise God. Anybody else? Anybody else? Actually, sorry. Just come with me a second. Sorry. I'm going to give you an opportunity to get rid of the addictions. Do you want that opportunity? To get rid of the addictions. Good. I want you to speak it out then. You say it. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for the addictions, for the way I've treated my own body. There you go. Here, here it comes. It's, it's, Father, I command right now this addiction that's on him, this taste that he's had today, Father, I command it to have no effect in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I break the power of the effects that it's had. Acid, you have no effect on him any longer. In Jesus' name. You have no effect on him any longer. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Now, I don't want you to listen to people who come to you, okay? People who come to you and lead you off track because they're on the wrong side. And I want you to be aware of that. Today, you're being served notice. that Today, you've chosen God. He is going to lead you if you listen to him. All right? Today. When did you give your heart to Christ? Because he told me you've actually mouthed it. Eleven or twelve years ago or days ago? Yeah, okay. You ready? Okay. Just say this to him. Lord, I ask you to restore my life with you. Amen. I dedicate myself to you today. I dedicate myself to you today, Lord Jesus. Amen. And I ask you to help me from this minute on. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's a boy. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell him to get out of here right now. You ready? Yes, as well. Don't, don't worry about them. You're going to worry about you now. Okay? So right now I command everything is not of you. Come out! In Jesus' name. Release him now. By the blood of Jesus Christ. You have no place on him. He's been called by you, Lord, into the kingdom. And Father God, we pray the blood of Jesus Christ, that he comes under the blood today, that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. And Father, I just thank you, you're touching him. Now don't worry about the darkness of the people around you, God's going to deal with them. Amen. He's going to deal with them. Father, every dealer that's come, and you've got to stop dealing too. Okay, eh? You don't? Okay, well, every dealer you've been involved with is cut off today. Amen? By the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. There you go. There's the fire of God coming on you again. That's the fire of God that's coming on you to cleanse you. Your sharpness is leaving you, okay, from the addiction. You're going to get back to normal. <laughs> is what you need. Thank you, Lord. Father, let the peace come on him in Jesus' name. Let the peace beyond his understanding, the peace that comes from heaven, just come on him in Jesus' name. Amen. You're done, bud. Back pain or leaving too, is it? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, okay, it's done. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. 
Well, what's, who's taken the leaning post? I think we're just about done. Remember you have choice every day. That's the thing he's bought for you is choice. You had no choice before, before you came into the kingdom. You were slaves to sin. But the Spirit of God says you are free to choose. Choose what's good. Amen. This day I bring before you, before heaven and earth, choose what's good for you. Choose the word of God. Choose his word. He is his word. Okay, every time you speak the word, Jesus is in you. He's in you. You've, you've got the spirit of God leading and guiding you. I know. I just want to finish off with this chapter. <clears throat> Even the spirit of truth in the world cannot receive because it's it sees him not neither does it know him but you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you I won't leave you comfortless I'll come to you yet a little while and the world sees me no more but you see you see me because I live and you shall live also at that day they shall know that I'm in my Father and you're in me and I'm in you. Amen. Father, we just thank you for tonight. Thank you for your word being performed by you, Lord, watched over by you. Bring it to pass in every life in this room. In Jesus' name. And all the saints said, Amen. you beauty. Okay, that's it.